Okay. Maybe this. Here we have we have a pipeline that goes this far. They got permitted to go this far. This over here is Corps of Engineers land. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna drill right up to this point and then they're gonna go down. Go down 90 feet below the water and then they're gonna go across. Right now they're probably maybe 50, 60 feet down but not on core land, see. So they're still drilling, okay? So they go this way, right up to where they're permitted. They're, they're permitted to do this on this on this land here. Mm -hmm. You know, the state, the state in North Dakota gave them permit. They are this. permitted to drill down, but not this yeah. This way. So yep. Because this, <clears throat> this is core land right here. Okay. Core land, all this way. Core land, all the way down. That's core land. This one is this private land over here that they already have permit for. That's why they put the pipeline on all the way okay. over there. Okay. So, in order for them to, their plan is to go down 90 feet below the water and then go across. You know, but they're on that side, go down on that side, come this way. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what they do right now. Is there right up to the right up to the land, the land that they're permitted on? Okay. Yeah. Is there any leak from the inside of the APL of information coming from the engineers there that give information to the protester? Is there Say that again. Is there any insider in the DAPL that give the information of what they are doing there to the to the, the, the person in charge into Oh the I know what you mean, yeah. No. 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 But there are no leaks. But on this side there is <clears throat> the DAPL people walking around the community. Yes. Yeah. They are infiltrated. Yeah. And what they are trying to do, they are trying to They uh, just want to know what's going on. Constantly. Yeah. You know, constantly want to know all the time. In case there's any any action gonna be planned or or whatever, they already know. Okay. Yeah. And um I heard that uh, that was drawn from the CIA, CIA yeah. that was uh, checking what they are doing. I yeah. don't know if it's CIA, but uh, state uh, highway patrol, the state police, and uh, the uh, Morton County Police, and the National Guard. Those people have drones in the sky, or they, or they have the planes. Day and night. Consuls circling, you know, it's either the plane or the helicopter. And <coughs> what is the, 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 oh, you have a coffee. I brought you a tea. Oh, a tea. Hey. Thank you. You want some little sugar in there? I don't Do you want to come in? Right. That's fine. <coughs> okay. yeah. Thank you. Do you want to come in? What's that? Do you want to come in? No, no, I'm fine. Okay. okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Um, um, I am also interested to know uh, what do you have uh, as information from the shamans, the spirits that give you information. The, medicine, yeah. the yeah. what? The medicine. The man. medicine man. Okay. Um, they are in contact with the spirits. And what is the information they get from the spirits? Or are you in contact? Or are you in contact? And yeah. what information do you get from them? We the last the last direction is that we when they uh, doing all these confrontations, they said for the men to go to the front to be like stone. What that means is that don't just 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 stay, just stay. Don't react in any way. No way. Don't react. Don't holler, don't just just be, be like a stone. It's down now. If you knew a stone, the stone <clears throat> is the original part of creation in our in our way, in our belief. And the stone, the spirit of the stone was Wakantanka. So that means 
that's how sacred you got to become. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and this is like the general yeah. way the, the this camp is. It's yeah. like it's amazing that the, the name of the tribe and this happening in Standing Rock because the name itself is just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Standing Rock. Yeah. yeah. Standing Rock. And uh, I wanted to come here because. Um, the only information that the European people, and especially in France, get from the medias was that it was over, they stepped back, it, uh, there was not drilling anymore, and it was like finished. And when I came into the camp, <coughs> I heard a different story. And it was yesterday or two days ago, we mm -hmm. went to interview the chairman, uh, David Archambault, and uh, we get another version of the story. Yeah, he said that they were not drilling anymore and that he would know if they were yep. and that people should go home because yeah. it is costing them money if something like happens as far as injuries or cars getting so, stuck. It was costing the tribe money or Dapple? Them. Like, no, tribe money. About both. Both, really, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, it's, uh, and it's going to cost more. Right now, uh, the big cost is, is uh, porta potties. Yeah, that, that's that. what he mentioned. Porta potties. Sixty thousand a month, you know. And now that it's going to that's freezing up, in order for them to continue to use those and to dump them, they have to put like a type of antifreeze in there mm. to keep it soluble. That way, you know, they can they can still pump it and it's not ice no more. I mean, it's, you still <laughs> use it. So, but where are you going to dump it at? Yeah. The lagoon over here does, does, won't take it, you know? So we had, they have to take it all the way to Bismarck and to dump it up there. In order for them to dump it up there, they got to charge. They charge you more mm -hmm. because it's a they treatment facility up there. They, they put it in, you know? So it's going to, you pay probably another... 20,000, 20, 30,000 <clears throat> to dump it up in Bismarck, mm -hmm. you know, every month. So not only, so that's 60, another 20, 30,000, it's almost 100,000 a month, you know, so it'll go up that high. But what the thing is, is that, is that, that's just, that's just porta potties. If you look at all these things here that were really, the trash, mm -hmm. the same, same thing's happening right now. Because they, they're not they're not digging down, they uh, uh, or there's places that aren't gonna take it no more until it gets warm again. Because when it gets warm again, they either compact it and put it in the soil, and then they turn the soil, you know, and they keep compacting and turning the soil. Uh, they can't do that now, mm -hmm. so it costs more to get rid of that too as well. So, yeah. so. For you, is it important that people stay here, or, or what, what is your advice? My advice is to is to consider yourself first. You know, are you ready for this? I mean, where this is like the first week of winter, first real, real week of a week of winter. So we we have winter sometimes up to April. Mm. You know. It's going to be this way of April. January and February are the cold months, you know, where it's below zero all the time. All the time. So <clears throat> you need to be, so this wood is going to be gone in probably a week, two weeks. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so we need more wood to begin with. Um, Do you have any issue with the supplies? That'd probably be it. Propane, wood, and food. You know, main three, main, main three. So the advice is if people come to the camp, they have to be self-sufficient. Easy, yep, they should mm -hmm. be. And ready for the cold. Yeah. And, um, yeah, because I can understand the, the, the point of uh, David uh, Archambault about the security. Mm -hmm. But uh, I am just wondering if this point is not uh, also an excuse to uh, ask for people for living because no. 
I understand it's a real issue, the security. Yeah. But we also um, need the people to be here, to be ready for what is going to happen because it's not over. So the fight shifted to the courts. Mm -hmm. and, <coughs> and what they should consider right now, right now a letter should be coming from Dave asking for federal law enforcement rather than state people. Federal law enforcement